Hey, what's up? Amelia here. Let's see what's making news. A big happy birthday to the James Webb Telescope. Yep, it's been one year since the galaxy's most powerful observatory started sending back incredible images of the cosmos. And they just keep coming. Here's Kale. Our universe looks a whole lot better from space. Oh, that's so... That's more like it. These are the sorts of astounding images the James Webb Telescope has been beaming back to Earth for the past year. Pictures of exoplanets, nebulae and quasars. I promise they're all real words. You see, down here on Earth, our view of the cosmos is kind of blurred by our atmosphere. So in December of 2021, this big honeycomb-shaped hunk of metal was sent more than a million kilometres into orbit. And, and after six months of setup, it got to work as the most powerful observatory we've ever sent to space. It's the successor to its younger cousin, the Hubble Space Telescope, and uses new technology to peer at stars and galaxies that are billions of light years away. To celebrate its first year of operation, we got a birthday present. NASA has just released this photo showing the birth of a bunch of new stars in the Rho Afuchi Cloud Complex. And scientists say we're only just beginning to unravel the secrets of the cosmos. All the things we've seen from it in this first year were done with plans before we knew how good it was going to be. So I look forward to even more amazing discoveries. The Barbie movie is causing some more controversy, this time in the Philippines. People there are angry about this map. In particular, it's this little bit here, which some say looks a bit like the so-called Nine Dash Line, which China uses to show its claim to the South China Sea. That's a claim that's been rejected by the UN and some of China's neighbours, including Vietnam, which banned the movie. But the Philippines has decided to just blur the image instead. It's a sad day for fans of fish and fish throwing. Whoop. Port Lincoln's famous Tunarama Festival is coming to an end after more than 60 years. Here's Lyba. If you've ever dreamed of tossing a 10 kilo rubber tuna as far as you can, then Port Lincoln was the place for you. For more than six decades, the South Australian town has been the home of Tunarama, a famous festival dedicated to tuna. And featuring iconic events like a parade, the Miss Tunarama pageant, and of course, the tuna tossing contest. Legend has it that back in the 70s, a local named John Penny saw fishermen throwing their catch around and thought, wow, that looks clever, let's make it a contest. Everyone has a tunarama memory or a, an experience that they, um, they've had here, so it's sort of very, very sad for those people. Yep, sad because festival organisers have just announced that tunarama is no more. The event was having trouble raising enough money and attracting enough volunteers. It's a big blow for the town and its tourism industry. But all hope isn't lost. The council's holding on to the Tunarama name and the rubber tunas in the hope that one day Tunarama will take off again. Fly high, little fishy, fly high! Chocolate fountains, dogs wearing costumes that make them look like tiny people and hanging out with me. They're all a real treat, just like these next stories. Bakeries are full of treats, but the treats at this digital bakery in Los Angeles are extra special because they're 3D printed. From superheroes to Super Mario, this chef and machine teamwork creates all sorts of sugary goodness. One day these, these things are going to be in like everyone's kitchen. Not tomorrow, but sooner than we think. Whew, it's hot over at Palm Beach Zoo right now, but luckily resident animals are getting a cool treat. Literally. We take water and freeze it and give them big ice blocks, especially our bears who love ice. Oh, yep, he wasn't lying. Smaller creatures don't miss out though, they just get a light sprinkle from the hose. And this teeny tiny rock hopper penguin chick at Chicago's aquarium is a real treat for keepers. It's just a few weeks old and that means it's time for a health check, including a weigh-in. And all this good behaviour deserves, what else? A treat. Good job. Adorable. Adorable. Well, that's it, but we'll be back tomorrow. Bye. Bye.